What's up YouTubers? And we've got big news. We now know when Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of the Dimensions movie is coming out on DVD. It's coming out on May 29th. And I thought, we finally got the release date, we've got to do something special. we got to. Sadly though, I could not get in any of the Dark Side of the Dimension movie packs. It ran out. I guess the uh, Dark Side of the Dimension DVD release has got everyone so hyped they want to get as many movie cards as they can. So, I could only get what I could and I thought, let's do it in something in homage for the original anime. Let's do something for the original anime series that the movie is based upon. Let's do something for the original manga which the movie is based upon as well. So I thought, classics. We gotta get some more classic cards guys. We gotta do something very classy. So I got us six Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Packs. This this pack is chock full of so many classic cards and, the, and a lot of them I, I still really want to get really. I, I think I've only opened up Millennium Packs a few times before so honestly I'll be really happy with any cards really that I get because because if you guys have been fan for my of my channel for a long time now, you would know I'm a huge fan of some of the classic cards. I don't think we put any from the back for these packs. Let's swing that around and get relinquish. Oh, 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 this card was in the first ever Maximilian starter deck. It's just it's still so incredible. I still think of it as one of the most powerful monsters in the game, just because you can absorb absorb any onto your opponent's side of the field. It's the only level 1 monster that can actually do that. So if you have it in the ritual spell, just send any old monster and there you go. You got yourself a powerful card. Anyway, got Dark Master Zork. Zork. Oh, I think this monster was in Season 0 as well, but not as a Yu-Gi-Oh card, but as one of um, in one of the games that were played. If you ever watched Season 0, I highly recommend it. You don't get much of the card game, but it's still, it's a very good season, and it's so dark as well. I'm not surprised that they can't dub it, but I still want someone to fan dub it, at least. We've got Pendulum Machine, we've got one of Band of Keith's cards. Vorse Raider! When I was little, I always wanted a Vorse Raider. Still, still very awesome. we got Rare Kunai with Chain, a very good trap card, especially when you... Want to um, stop an opponent's monster from attacking, yet at the same time power yourself up. And then we... Oh, that's it. We only get five cards, so none from the back. But if the fourth card is a rare, then that must mean we're going to get a hollow or something. Although, there aren't many hollows within this kind of pack anyway. Launch a spider! Oh! I love that card when I was little. It's just stupidly high defense. We got Shrink, another classic card. I definitely know a lot of people would use it if they can remember it. The Crush Card Virus. Oh, we got the combo. We got Kyber's one of Kyber's Ace Combo Shrink and Crush Card Virus. Oh, it must be a Kyber pack. <laughs> Panther Warrior. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, it's the fourth card, guys. We're going to get something amazing. Oh, trick! Oh, with spikes! Yes! Oh, ho, ho. I remember when this was used in the anime. Oh, this was used during Joey and Banda's Keith stool. It definitely took a sweet time getting this out. When a opponent's monster that was normal or special summoned, this turn attacks, destroy the attacking monster. And if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the original monster's attack. It's, it's all, which was a pretty much guarantee during um, the originals because you will always try and get a stronger monster to attack and I can see why they didn't bring out the strap at that time. But we've got a hollow guys, it's so awesome. Let's get into the third pack. This is why I, uh, I usually like these short packs really. You got nice, awesome cards. I don't like the star packs as much because you only get three cards, and those three are usually from the anime series at the time. But still, Karibo! 
Oh, uh, remember when I was little, I had the original artwork and this artwork, and I just said they're my Karibo brothers in my deck. So awesome, they go like back to back Karibo. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, Vice Dance. Uh, the it has changed a lot since um, when it was a little. There's even word about. We got a double in one pack anyway. There's word about the new um, summoning method. I'm probably going to do a video about it one day, but there's not much information at the moment about how it's done. A symbol of friendship. Oh, oh my god. I remember this card. I believe it was mostly done as like in tournament packs. To activate this card, you must draw it from your hand and during the normal draw in the draw phase while your opponent controls three or more monsters and you control no monsters, reveal it and keep it revealed until the main phase one. During your main phase one, that s same turn, you, you can activate this card from your hand, reveal one card from your deck and add it to your hand. Pretty good actually. A bit much at the beginning, but then again, it's, then again, it's a symbol of friendship with a um, smiley face hand draw, and that's done on their hands. It's kind of good actually. It's kind of make it friendly. I'm gonna put it in the back anyway, just because it's such a classic card. Um, yeah, the new Sony method. We're gonna get another thing on the board again, just like they did the pendulums. But apparently, it's gonna be between um. And that's so it's going to be like between your opponent's field and your field. Not much difference, really. Um, oh, Exodios, the ultimate Forbidden Lord. So good. Um, I don't know what it exactly does, but Gandora. Love it. But by the looks of the cards, um, the, the cards only have attack points and nothing to say about defense points, really. Judging by the image of the new monsters, and there's no levels. On them. These monsters have no levels, no ranks, no levels, so that's confused me a bit, relinquish. So I don't really know what to say about these new cards, especially since we haven't really, Ben for Warrior, um, we haven't really got told how the new summoning method is going to be. I definitely know everyone's looking into it. Um, the cards are still in foreign, I haven't found an English website to really say it, say what these cards do. Five-headed dragon! Oh my god! I forgot this was in there! Five-headed dragon! Oh, I just love five-headed dragons so much. Maybe hard to get out because you need five dragons, but still. Oh, one monster. And black skull dragon. Oh my god, it's fusion central here. Nightmare will just love it. Large in. Um, nothing can really be said about about the cards, about the cards really, Flame Swordsman. Um, I'd love to know what's going on with the new summoning, how it work, and would it really go well with the rules today? That's back guys, I forgot to say it was last pack. Because it's going to be like the pendulums, people say it was rubbish, it shouldn't be added into the game, and yet, it's only at the end that people really accept it. I mean, I was a, I was okay with pendulums during the beginning because I saw it as a way for um, rookies to um, get used to the game, really, and even help them out against some um, more experienced players. I don't know a lot of people use it against me. Celtic Guardian, and we got one more card at the back. It's another hollow, guys. What is it? Oh, yeah, oh my! Sky ga Sky Galloping Gaia the Fierce Knight. Oh, I forgot this was thing. It's like an evolved version of Gaia, the Dragon Champion. One Gaia the Fierce Knight, one Dragon type monster. So at least then you're not relying on Curse of Dragon. And at least by saying it's Gaia the Fierce Knight, you can also use some of the other Gaia the Fierce Knight cards, like Swift Gaia the Fierce Knight, which is pretty awesome. Um. This card's name becomes Guy the Dragon Champion while it's on the field, but duh, it's an evolved form. I can see why they did that. Um, if this card is special to summon, you can add one Spiral Strike, Spear Strike, from your deck or graveyard to your hand. 
one of those gods that cause an attack, or an opponent's monster, you can change the battle system of your opponent's monster. Which is pretty good, actually. I kind of like that whole lot. Pretty strong guy. Um, but yeah, guys, we, we pulled some amazing cards. We pulled... Symbol of Friendship, which is a card that I definitely like. Sky Galloping Guy of the Fierce, Sky Galloping Guy of the Dragon Champion, couldn't say the name, and Trap Hole Spikes. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. We've got a nice load of cards there, some co nice commons, some nice classic cards, and some of these ho some of these commons really I do really like. Even though they're commons, a lot of people can still make good use. Out of all these cards, really, especially this one, Five Headed Dragon, cool. But, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you follow the polls. Let me know if you've done any looking into the new um, summoning method. And if you have, what are your opinions on it? Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to help the game? Do you think it's going to help rookies? Do you think um, it's going to be something champions will abuse? Do you think it's going to be like Pendulum, where people will hate it at the beginning for some reason, but during the end they'll get used to it because of the anime or because of time or do you think the game is starting to get overrun so yeah until next time guys this is me signing out bye bye